All right, so what do you want me to do? I just got to get into a coffin, right? Oh, okay. All right. All right. All right. Sorry. Sorry. I'll get right to it. Where is there a coffin to hide within? Oh. This looks an awful lot like an Iron Maiden. I am not exactly comfortable getting inside of this thing. Oh! With that? I gotta get in there with that? Ooh. Oh. Sorry. Oh, God. I am not okay with this. I am not okay with this at all. Are we alone? Sure. Yes. <laughs> yes. Alone. <laughs> Sweet solitude. He is Don't not let so. us disturb us. Everything is going according to plan. The others, I've spoken to them. And they're coming around, I know it. The wizard Festus Crex. <laughs> Perhaps even the Argonian. And the Unchild. What about you? Have you... Have you spoken to anyone? No? No, of course not. I do the talking, the stalking, the seeing, and the saying. And what do you do? Huh? Nothing! Not... But then I'm angry. No, never. Cicero understands. <laughs> Cicero always understands. Sweet night, mother. Poor oh, Cicero. Dear Cicero. Such a humble servant. Oh my god, she's actually but talking to him. Never hear my voice. Oh, he is not. Oh no. She's talking to me. Oh, but how can I defend you? Oh, I exert your will if you will not speak to anyone. Oh, but I will speak. I will speak to you. For you are the one. Oh God. You. Jesus Christ. Okay, lady. Yeah, whatever you say. Poor Cicero is free on you. Poor Cicero is sorry, sweet mother. I tried so very hard, but I just can't find the listener. Tell Cicero, the time has come. Tell him the words he has been. Why don't you tell him? Darkness rises when silence dies. Okay, all, all right. What? What treachery? Defiler. Uh, Debaser and defiler. No, 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 no. Violated the sanctity of the Night Mother's coffin. No, 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 no. Calm, calm. Calm down, sissy, all right? The Night Mother spoke to me. She said I am the one. She spoke to you? Yes. More treachery. More trickery and deceit. I promise you it's not. The Night Mother speaks only to the listener. Wait. She said to tell you darkness rises when silence dies. She said that. Yes. She said those words. Scout's honor. To you. Mm-hmm. Darkness rises when silence dies. I promise that's what her but words were. The, words, the binding words written in the keeping tones. Simple so I would know. Mother's only way of talking to sweet Cicero. God, you are and just it's true. insane. Back. How do you put up she with this guy? <laughs> oh, hail the I am super uncomfortable right now. Astrid! Sickness, this ends now. 
Back away, fool. Whatever you've been planning is over. Are you all right? I heard the commotion. Who was Cicero talking to? I spoke only to the Night Mother. I spoke to the Night Mother, but she didn't yeah, speak look. to me. Oh, no. She spoke only to him, to the listener. What? The listener? What are you going on about? What is this lunacy? The Night Mother has spoken. The silence has been broken. The listener has been chosen. Can I get out of here, when please? I heard Cicero screaming. I knew you'd been discovered. I feared the worst. Are you all right? I mean, physically, physically, I, I'm fine. Cicero said he spoke to the Night Mother. Well, but she spoke to you. Yeah, yeah, that it's true. The Night Mother spoke to me. She said I was the one. I see this. And what did she say? Uh, I, I must speak to someone named Amand Mautier in Volunrun Rude. I don't know. Motier? I have no idea who that is. But yeah, me neither. Rude, that I have heard of. And I know where it is. Listen, I don't know what's going on here, but you take your orders from me. You and me both, Are sister. Are clear on that? The Night Mother may have spoken to you, but I am still the leader of this family. I will not have my authority so easily dismissed. I need time to think about all this. Go see Nazir. Do some work for him. I'll find you when I'm ready to discuss the matter further. Yeah, okay. Yeah, you take all the time you need. I, I, I need a little bit of time myself. You just, you, you just stay away from me. Yeah, I wasn't cool with... Any, uh, what happened there. That, that was f***ed. That was really f***ed. Not, not cool. In his ear. I need some work. As it turns out, I've got two new contracts. I'll, I'll take them both. target is an orc bard named Lerbu. An orc the bard. A vampire by the name of Hearn. Happy hunting. Yeah, alright. Both of those things sound way better than ever getting back inside of that coffin with the dead lady. You know, this Dark Brotherhood thing, I was pretty excited about, you know, doing this because I've never actually done this quest line myself, personally. And going around you know, hunting down assassination targets and, and taking them out all stealth-like. That sounded like a really good time. That sounded like a great time to me. But then I got locked in a coffin. Locked in a coffin with a dead lady who starts to glow and talk to you while a sick little jester man dances outside. I'm a little shook. Not gonna lie, I'm a little bit shook. I mean, I'm still gonna do the jobs. Jobs still gotta get done. It's, it's just... It's a lot. It's just a lot. I mean, Christ, did you see that thing in that coffin? I turn around, it's all glowing, it's, it's got the glowy eyes, and it's all crumpled up, and it's... Oh, will have help if you can do my bidding. Oh! Oh! That was f***. Well, they're just laying down and going to bed. Oh god, they're spooning. Oh. Sorry about this, Hearn. I, I, I used to buy my wood from these people. Oh. Better get out of here before she wakes up. Astrid. Hey. We need to talk. Yeah, we do. Uh, what, what is it? Look, something is happening here. I'm not sure entirely what that something is, but, well, we need to find out. If the Night Mother really did give you an order to talk to a contact, yeah, you'd she did. be mad to ignore it. And I think we'd both agree, Cicero's brought quite enough madness to this sanctuary. So go, uh -huh. go to Volenrude, talk to this Armand Motier, and let's see where all this leads, hmm? Yeah, okay, you got it. Hey, what's up, buddy? Vampire, dead. Uh, bard, also dead. Your payment, as per the usual. Thanks, man. Maybe cheese will make me feel better. Oh. Mm, yeah. Mm, yeah, that's good. That's good. Oh, look, there's bodies everywhere. Oh, hi. You should just sit back down. Um... 
where is this guy I'm supposed to be talking to? Hello? Oh, hi! By the almighty divines, you've come. You've actually come. Yeah, the Night Mother heard you please, Motieri. Yes, um, so it would seem. Well, I won't waste your time. You sound time. kind of skeptical. I would like to arrange a contract. The work I'm offering has more significance than anything your organization has experienced in, well, centuries. I'm sure someone of your disposition will probably even find it enjoyable. But you should know that these It's really assuming a lot about me, pal. For they paved the way to the most important tide. The it's real the reason I was speaking of cutthroat in the bowels of this detestable crypt. For I seek the assassination of the Emperor. Oh my god, you want us to kill the Emperor of Tamriel? That is correct. What I ask is no small thing, of course. But you represent the Dark Brotherhood. This is what you do. Here, take these. They need to be delivered to your superior. The sealed letter will explain everything that needs to be done. The amulet is quite valuable. You can use it to pay for any and all expenses. Hey, Astrid. You're back. Good. Yeah, that so guy wants us to kill the Emperor. Here? What did he want? You're joking. No, I'm not. Uh, the letter explains it all, and the ambulance is for expenses. Kill the Emperor of Weird. Yeah, that's what he wants. Brotherhood hasn't done such a thing since the assassination of Pelagius. We've done it before, though. No one has dared oh, assassinate an Emperor not surprised. of Tamriel since the murder of Uriel Septim, and that was 200 years ago. Well, surely the Night Mother wouldn't misdirect us, right? No, she certainly wouldn't. I don't know exactly what's going on here. If you're the listener, or this is some fluke, or what. Who knows, maybe she wants to install me as the rightful is. emperor of the of the realm. You know, I am the dragonborn. Yeah. So we'll accept the contract. <laughs> you're damn right we'll accept it. If we pull this off, the Dark Brotherhood will know a fear and respect we haven't seen in centuries. I'm thinking we need that amulet appraised. I want to know where it came from, how much it's worth, and if we can actually get away with selling it. Delvin Mallory. He's a fence. Uh, a oh, Delvin. No, I know Delvin. He works actually works for me. In Mifton. Bring Mallory the amulet. Find out everything you can and sell it if he's willing. Delvin Mallory and the Dark Brotherhood have... <laughs> history. I'll be back. Go talk to Deli. Mmm, look at that busty bust. Oh, it's so big. So busty. So... Metal star. What's up, Vex? How's it going? Is Del back here? Del, wake up! Something you need. Actually, I'm here on Dark Brotherhood business this time. Oh. Oh, I see. So, uh, how is Astrid doing these days? She's doing Tell great. Stop by sometime. We can have a drink. But Keep it in your pants, bud. Alright, just, just calm down. What kind of business? Uh, what can you tell me about this? Where, oh, where did you get this? No, don't answer. Don't worry about it. I don't want to know. This is an amulet of the Emperor's Elder Council, specially crafted for each member who have a small fortune. Look, will you buy it or not? Buy it? This? An Elder Council amulet? Oh, yes. Oh, yes, indeed. Here. What? a letter of credit. You bring that back to your lovely mistress. With my regards. Yeah, all right, Del. Get back to bed, I guess. Hey, I'm back with Delvin's credit extension Good. thingy. You're back. Yes. Well, what did Mallory have to say? Is the amulet authentic? Yeah, and specially made for members of the Elder Council. The Elder Council? Uh huh. Oh, now that explains quite a bit. Does it Monkier, though? Here, you naughty, naughty boy, hiring the Dark Brotherhood to help you rise beyond your station. Oh, uh, yeah, it does make sense, doesn't that? He was. Here's a letter of credit. Splendid. Then we're ready to begin. Or, more specifically, you're ready to begin. Yeah, After I kind of have to do everything. You're the one the Night Mother spoke to. Yep. Now then, that was me, all right. I hope you have something nice Wish it wasn't. Wear, because it you're was. going to a wedding. A wedding? Well, more like the public reception. It should be a lovely affair. You'll mingle with the guests, eat some cake, stab the bride. Oh, oh yes. wait a You've minute. You've got to kill the bride. And they say romance is dead. 
Her name is Vittoria Vici. She oversees the East Empire Company's business holdings in solitude. Oh, East the Empire Company. I, uh, I robbed them once. At the Temple of the Divines. Kind of. I mean, I broke in and killed a bunch of their guards. Which is exactly what Whatever, we same want. thing. Vici is likely to address her guests frequently, as is the wedding custom. Kill her when she does that, and I promise you a significant bonus. Now go. Kill her while she's talking to her guests. To the bride. Off to solitude with you. Time to give the Emperor some real motivation to visit Skyrim. Yeah, alright Astrid. So go and take care of that. <laughs>